Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading for the 3rd to the 9th of March and this is for the sign of Cancer. Cancer, thank you so much for watching my channel. I do love having you on board. If you're new, welcome. Let me just give the cards a really good shuffle for you. I am using the Gilded Tarot, the very old, bent Gilded Tarot. One more shuffle and we're into it. Oh, I turned them upside down. Okay, so you do have the Four of Pentacles out. Now, I've seen the Four of Pentacles um, in, in a fair few readings today. So, you know, it's really funny because had a beautiful person write to me about the astrology and I do thank you for doing that when you do guys because it just shows me how much my readings resonate with the present astrology I'm not really I mean I know about signs I have a very basic understanding I have a friend who has a huge understanding but for me like understanding how our readings resonate with what's going on in the universe just absolutely blows me out sometimes now the person was talking about the fact that we're discarding our past at the moment. We're getting rid of things, the moon cycle from last month um, and the way that the planets are aligning now says we're getting rid of old stuff in order to bring new stuff in. Um, we're understanding how to release our past. So this is very much about not wanting to release something. It's not about not wanting, it's finding it difficult to release. We always find things hard to let go when we've let go of people who we've loved or cared about and we've had to walk away from things, jobs, situations, because we want to be around them, but it's just no longer viable. So this is about learning to let go in order to bring in stability here, because this is what you're trying to do. Oh, this is just beautiful. Look at this cancer. This is about letting go of something to bring stability and joy and happiness into your life. You need to let go of something here. You cannot hang on to it. You only have one life. And the universe is trying to bring you in something incredibly beautiful here and you're hanging on to something from the past that you need to let go of. Oh, Cancer. Okay. We do have the King of Cups coming out first. Now, this can be Cancer. This can be your energy here. Now, the Cancer is... Um, a water sign and the water signs are very deep people they're the deep signs of the zodiac the deep emotional feelers um, with the king of cups though he's learnt to work with his emotions sometimes he can be a little cold it doesn't mean that he doesn't feel things he just doesn't always feel safe enough to expose himself so he keeps things close to his heart sometimes he can be a little controlling or a little cold but generally he's a person who just knows how to work those feelings Okay, we have the Page of Cups coming out here. So, Cancer, this looks like you want to offer something to someone here. Okay, we have the Three of Swords, Radio. So, back to the Four of Pentacles. You want to offer somebody something, but you've still got someone in the picture here. To, and there's a decision to be made. Something has to be cut out. You have to let go of something in order to move forward on something here. Yeah, third party. Wow, I've had a couple of these today. This is about, and it could be the other way around. It may not be you, Cancer. Remember, end and energies flip flop here. This could be someone else who's coming in to make an offer to you. But what, either you or they are in another relationship or have thirty part thirty third party, thirty party. Uh, you have third party energy here, or they have. No matter which way I look at it. Okay, so Five of Cups. So this is about remorse and regret. Not looking forward, still looking back at the past, still hanging on to what no longer serves you here. Wow. Two of Pentacles. So you have a couple of twos here. So I'm thinking this is probably the time when you're going to come to a decision here. Things are moving forward here. The universe is pushing you to make a decision. You can't stay here any longer. Page of Swords. This is about some sort of truthful message, a truth, something coming through which cuts to your core. 
Ah, oh, the fool's here. So you have a brand new start. So I'm not wrong, am I? Okay. Eight of Swords. Wow, you're feeling this very deeply here. Okay. Now this can be you or it can be someone coming towards you. It could be a water sign coming towards you here. You are having a wake-up call here with some sort of message, some sort of realisation. Something here is happening. Some truth, some painful truth is pushing forward, pushing you forward to make a decision. You want stability back into your life. You want this joy, love and happiness. You're moving away from something now. You finally got the message to let go. Finally got the message. You have cards here that tell me that you are either in love with someone else or someone else is in love with you here and they are waiting for you to let things go so that they can move into you or you can go towards them now this is really hard for you because I can see that there's a lot of heartbreak here a lot of pain a lot of regret a lot of remorse but finally you are seeing through a decision to cut something out of your life that no longer serves you here. And you're moving forward. You've got a brand new start here. Now, I don't think this is an easy thing for you because the Eight of Swords is right here in front of me. So I think it's still a very painful, um, a painful decision to move forward on something. Um, the universe is not letting you stay here any longer. You're turning your back on the idea of a th third party here. The really funny thing is it feels like you've been really either loyal to this person or you haven't wanted to walk away, but it's just, it's sort of like with this page of swords, it's become bigger than you can manage anymore. So the desire to move on is greater than the desire to stay here. This is why you've got this two of swords here. So I'm not sure whether this is love, work, whatever it is for you but the general theme of this reading is that you have finally made a decision to cut something out and move forward you've realized here that you cannot stay in this place any longer it's causing you a lot of regret a lot of remorse a lot of turning over feelings and thoughts and it's no longer serving you so you are letting it go so that you can find stability joy and happiness here so the universe is offering you something great if you can so and you need to move forward and if it's for the other person that you're dealing with, the decision's been made. They're on their way. So if you wanted to hear that, if you're a cross watcher, they're on their way to you. Okay, so the key here is new beginnings, directions and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. I can't make this shit up, can I? Um... New beginnings, directions and adventures await for those who are ready to get rid of the past or let go of the past. And when I see this, and I see this, and I see you moving away, and I see you moving away from your past. Beautiful. Have a great week, Cancer.